That looks so damn cute. Hey guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube. <laughs> and in today's video, I I'm kind of missing my hairstylist, you know what I'm saying? But thankfully, through the power of FaceTime, my stylist, Gabrielle Corny, is going to show me a thing or two. We're going to get a little ponytail action up in here. So keep watching. So Gabby has constructed some of my favorite ponytails and I was missing them because you know when the hair's all, I like my hair any way that my hair is combed. I even like it like this because I don't know who was telling us that our hair is not cute because our hair is cute, okay? But um, you know, not having to comb it is a great thing. So what we are going to need for this FaceTime tutorial, Eco Styler Gel, boom, wide tooth comb, Boom! An edge brush! I'm supposed to have a fishtail, long tail fishtail? Uh, rat tail. Rat tail comb, right? And you know what the rat tail combs, I always feel like I always have like 10 of them and then when I need one, I don't have one. So this, I'm gonna have to substitute this in. And then two ponytail holders and I feel like I might <laughs> probably need three because my clumsy behind probably gonna break something. But we don't have to blow dry, right? You don't have to blow dry. Okay. okay. For a kinky ponytail, you don't need to blow dry. If you wanted something a little smoother, I would suggest, you know. But if you just like washed your hair and it's not stretched, you want to stretch the hair out, right? Yeah, just a little. Yeah, because you, you can do a little tension blow dry. My hair must be so dry that Gabby can see it through the FaceTime because she was like, you gonna need some moisturizer. So I'm gonna be using the Pantene leave on detangling milk. Is that a good amount or do I need a little more? Yeah, make sure you rub it in your hands really well like lotion. Rub it right. in your skin like lotion. <laughs> and pat. Pat. Yep. Get around the edges and then in the back. Get all underneath. All underneath. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you get your wide tooth comb and then you start detangling from the back. Moving forward. Okay, like so? Yep. And I'm holding it so that I'm not like ripping my hair out. All right, did I detangle enough? Detangle now? Yep. I feel like I am. All right, so that part? Okay, so now you're going to section your hair in two. Okay. So you're gonna go across the head like this from ear to with ear. With this? Yep, with the wide tooth comb. You <laughs> the top of your ear as your, as your guide. Okay, so like this? Yeah. Oh, I remember this from when you did my ponytail. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm gonna have to do one little itty bitty. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't really need to use this then. I can use my fingers? You could use, I would use the comb. Use the comb? Okay. Cause I was those. like, the fingers is mad easy. Because you still wanna make sure that you're gonna get all the way to the root just in case you didn't detangle that section. Probably. Oh. Because the secret to doing, um, a smooth ponytail on um, a kinkier texture mm -hmm. is sectioning and detangling. That's your best friend. Sectioning and detangling. Yeah. So that top section is going to go into one of the uh, trusty ponytail holders that you put to the side. Okay. Yeah. I hope I'm getting this one. right because there's a couple of spots where I'm like, I feel like this might hurt, so I'm not really using a comb. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost there though. Well, listen, once you section that top, make sure you put it into a bun so that you can see the back. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Yep. And then <laughs> tuck it in. That's perfect. I want to put this fan on, but it's going to make so much noise. Yeah. This is a lot of work. Mm hmm <laughs> Let me tell you, this water was not easy to come by. I don't always buy this brand. To be quite honest with you, I always buy, um... <laughs> what it was like 69 cents for the big gallon yeah but I take what I can get that's what uh what you call it uh Amazon hat because I'm not leaving the house okay now get yourself a little bit more moisturizer all right <laughs> <laughs> am I now you're gonna now you're gonna run it through from root to end make sure it's really saturated root to there end okay go. Yep. Am I a hair vlogger yet? <laughs> yep. So how, um, we're gonna do this ponytail low, right? Yeah, like my, you know my typical? Okay, so it's not your, the smooth brush, but you know your other brush? Oh yeah, this one? 
that one. This is by a company called Texture Pro. They did a collab with the Wet Brush. Okay. I love the Texture Pro line. Those yes. The brushes are awesome. Okay, so they have groovy, they have groovy teeth. Yeah, and they, I also have the um, weave brush too that's really good for combing out my wigs and my weaves. Oh, <laughs> yes. Alright, so you're gonna go ahead and detangle that hair gently. Gently? Yes. Okay. But use enough pressure to be able to go all the way through it. Okay. And you're gonna sit, yep, you're doing that right. You're gonna brush it down towards the nape of your neck. Alright. And once that's smooth, the whole entire section. And make sure you have another trusty ponytail holder ready because okay. you're going to grab all the hair into one section and secure the ponytail holder. But you're going to take this out many times and keep <laughs> ponytail holder ready because I don't want your hair to revert. You don't want me to what? I don't want your hair to revert too much. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I don't think I've ever been able to do that on my own. <laughs> well, not that I haven't That's been able to do it. I just don't yeah. do it. Okay, now get your other brush and start smoothing that section towards the ponytail holder. Ooh. Wait, so, <laughs> you have to show okay. me. <laughs> so you're gonna take that brush that you just picked up, uh -huh. and you're just gonna start, you're gonna keep the ponytail holder as is, uh -huh. and then you're just going to start smoothing it, pushing the hair down towards the ponytail holder. Oh, just like so. Yup, there you go. Okay, hopefully you at home can see this, cause yeah, we can see it good. You you, you can see it. I don't know if this if the camera over here on this side, maybe on this side oh, will be okay. better. Yeah, just give them give them angles, babe. Give them angles. Right. Okay. Let me try to come in. I got a new lens that um Rose told me to get. Ooh. A twenty four millimeter. Okay, that's good. Now make sure you're going up under the neck as well. Brushing it in an upward position. Okay. Yep. Oh, this feels good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. So now you're going to take that ponytail holder out. Okay. And you're going to make it tighter. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hurry up so the hair don't revert. My hair revert real quick. My my hair be like no. Especially with that water-based cream. Right. Is that is that good? I hope I'm using the right word. Let's see. Turn, give me a spin around. Okay, that's not too shabby. <laughs> yep. Okay, so now that you have um secured your ponytail, now you did that. You are going to start applying your gel. All right. So there's so many varieties of this. Does it matter which one people use? No, uh, not really. Okay. So this is just you know. Yeah. Mine just says alcohol free, eco styler, eco style, professional styling gel crystal. Max hold 10. That's, you know, that's what it says. Yeah. yeah. So now you're just going to dip your hand in the gel and you're going to start applying it around the whole back section. So starting at the top where you were brushing. Here? Yep. Yep. Just start there. And it just go all the way across from ear to ear. Need a little bit more gel. Yep. Yeah. Get yourself, you know, you're going to have to use more than one dip for sure. <laughs> your, your hair texture. Oh, I got mad gel on my damn ear. <laughs> yeah. That's another trick. You got to go behind it and get the gel out your ear. That gel, I don't know how it gets into all the crevices of your ear, but it sure does. Yeah. <laughs> And then it start peeling, and then you look like you got a problem. <laughs> right. You're like, are you okay? You're like, mm. all right. So I put the gel, and do I smooth it a, down? You need a little bit more. More gel? Okay. Mm -hmm. How do the people at home know when there's enough gel? Um, I would probably say try try to look at it. You know, I know it's, it's a little difficult trying to do your own ponytail. Yeah. And look in the mirror, and you're like, what the heck is happening to me? But I'm just, it's hard enough for me to make sure that the the, the uh, camera angle <laughs> yeah. that y'all can see yeah. what I'm doing. I had a okay. mirror. Oh no, I don't. You got your you got your small comb. Yep. Okay, so now you're gonna start combing the gel into your hair, going towards the ponytail holder again. Okay. Yep. And people say, why are you using a comb? Trust me, it gets in those nooks and crannies. Um, better than the brush. 
Mm -hmm. But we're gonna use comb and brush. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now get yourself a little bit more gel. All right. You dip your hand in there, go around the whole circumference again of the back section, underneath, top. And then you're gonna get your close brush. The, uh, I don't know if that one is boar's hair bristle, but. Child. It, it's probably four dollars from the damn beauty supply store. Let me tell you something. My favorite brush comes from the beauty supply store, and it is one dollar. Just one don't drop dollar. it on the floor, because then the handle will break. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one is. is thing, girl. This one just says brush strokes on it. I don't know if that's the brand or whatever, but for people that be like, "What brush did you use?" That's it. Yeah. It, it, it got some sort of like serial number two one seven two zero one. So then I start brushing down. Yeah, now brush on the top first. Okay. And then you can do the kitchen afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> now it feels like, am I gonna have to take the ponytail out again and re-secure it? You are gonna have to take that ponytail holder out several times before this video is done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because that's the, that's the beauty of the smoothing process and that's the reason why we section. Okay. Yep. So after you finish brushing, uh -huh. You're going to take that ponytail holder out okay. and make it just a little bit tighter. Just be careful not to pull the nape of your neck too much because that could be just a bit uncomfortable. Yep. I done messed up already. Oh, it feels um slicker down. Slick down. Right? Yeah. No. It almost feels like you doing it. Well, I kind of am. Yeah. This with, <laughs> with your arms. <laughs> so now you're gonna do the top section. You're gonna go ahead and, yep. Oh, look at that middle part just popped out. <laughs> All right, so then you were saying to the C section. Yep. C6, C six, C section. <laughs> yeah. And then put this in a ponytail holder. Okay. In, 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 for instance, you're gonna be putting gel on all of that and you're gonna be brushing it into the, to the back. To the back, so down like that? Right. Okay. So you're gonna do that side and then you're gonna open the ponytail and hold it up, put that piece inside of it, and then you're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Twist that side, like twist it, and then put it in that ponytail. So that way you don't mess up your part. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm fine even with it out because I can't be bothered to get up and try to find the clip. All right, so here I go. Do I brush this out a little bit more? Um, you can comb it. Okay. Yeah, it feels a little dry. I mean, if you want to, you can. I mean, I can't feel it. That's the only thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna mess up the ponytail. Well, sometimes when you put a lot of moisturizer, that's why I said make sure you really rub it in your hands um, because you don't want it to curdle. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it alone. So get grab the gel. Yeah, wait, are we about to film? Cause then Ella's gonna take off Jackson. We filming now. Oh, we are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh please! That this is real life. People gotta work from home. People got kids. Yeah. Shoot. Thank goodness for this this pet that is um entertaining her. <laughs> That's why I had to close it because she was right all on my face. Right. Video, you right. be all blue okay. in the face. Right. <laughs> is this enough gel? Uh, maybe a little bit more. A little more. Because remember, you're gonna start applying it at the root. And then you're gonna go all the way to the end. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So from here. Yep. Ooh, it feels. It feels well. wet and <laughs> like slimy. Pause. <laughs> there you go. You feel like you have enough gel? Yeah. Not on this part though. So I'll put a little more. Yeah, put a little bit more. Cause remember, I'm, I'm only I'm seeing it. I can't feel it. You know how um, hairstylists are, we use all You got a feel. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna grab your... The brush? Bristle brush, that, smooth that down into the back section. Okay. Yep. Make sure you get that middle too. There you go. Child, these um, sideburns is out of control. <laughs> this one? Yeah, that and one's fine. <laughs> yep, and make sure you brush, smoothing it in the direction of the back section. Does that make sense? Yep. <laughs> I want it to be as simple as possible. Yep. Okay, so once you feel that it's smooth enough, then you're going to open up that section in the back. <laughs> and um, add that hair into the back section. Okay. 
I love your smile because I have the ugliest faces when I'm doing my own point. Really? So I love the fact I'm gonna have to start practicing that because <laughs> I'm sweating to do this ponytail face. <laughs> I gotta work on my face, girl. <laughs> it's because I'm always up in the camera. Yep. Wow, this is easier than I thought. Yeah. Sectioning is your best friend. Go on to the next section. Do I so see this? You're going, yep, C section again um, with your YT comb. All right, so. Yep. You're gonna part it, yep, same C formation. Woo. Try to make it um symmetrical. Try to make it even. Ooh, with this eye? Yes. Woo, child. Doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it like, kind of. Yeah, I don't want you to overthink it, but it's also easier if the sections are even. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Look at you out here being a hairstylist. Yeah. You better work. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Like, I'm impressed. Ow. That's because I got the best teacher. You use the U-part wig, right? Aw, that was so sweet. I just realized what you said. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use... I hope it's, um... Because I was I did another video with it. So either way, I could always spritz it. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yep. So you're going to get your gel. Do the same exact thing that you did on the other side. Stay in focus. Stay in focus. Well, I need a lot more gel in that. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna do the, you know, start at the roots again, and then work your way through the rest of the hair. Make sure you put enough gel, because we don't want any dry pockets. Yeah, no dry pockets. That's what, that's what causes it to lift up. Like, if your ponytail doesn't last, people ask me all the time, like, yo, how do you get Danielle's? ponytail laid like that right she's a true 4c yeah like, it's all in the sectioning and the amount of product that you the use. amount of product very much. much so you feel like that's enough gel i'm gonna do a little bit more yeah because now i'm a hairstylist so i'm trying to feel it <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> all right and then we take this yep so you're like, why am I using two different brushes? Because you have to distribute the product evenly. The circle Ooh. Effect, like you just said about dry pockets. You know, because once the ponytail air dries, right, mm -hmm. it's going to be either going to be smooth or it's not, or it could be a combination of both. So if you don't distribute the product evenly, you're going to have those dry patches. If you out there, out here in these streets, whenever we can go back out, right? There, you know, <laughs> that you do, and the next thing you you know you. You have to look in the mirror and you got this whole piece sitting The whole piece. You have enough product on it, so. All right, and then now I can move on to the bristle brush? Your, yeah, your, boor, your boar's hair brush. Boar's hair? Yeah. The other one is the bristle brush. Boar's hair brush, but a lot of people understand that language, so that's what we oh, call okay. it. Oh, okay. Whew, my neck hurt. <laughs> your neck, your back. Right. Your curls and your... <laughs> I feel like this last little curls back here could use a little extra product. Oh, this is hurting my neck. What do you mean, under your neck? No, like the ends here needed a little bit oh, more sure. gel. Mm -hmm. That's okay, because we still have one more section. Child, it's a lot. Yeah, we still have one more section, so. Okay, good. So you already know, to open the ponytail back up. Make sure you move the ass, exactly. Don't, too, don't do too much of that. That's for the last section. Okay. Yep. And then put your ponytail holder back on. Boom. Boom. Whew. Look at that. You a whole hair style. Yes. Style. I'm going to need a whole neck brace. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this leaves your, your last section. Ta-da. This is where you're going to do most of your smoothing. And this is where you're going to start focusing on, you know, the perimeter, meaning the front, your baby hairs if you like, and underneath. Okay, so I open up one side. Nope, you're going to do both of them. Oh, both of them at the same time? Mm -hmm. Oh, snap, we on level 10. <laughs> yeah, make sure you define your part, because the last thing you want to do is start putting gel on there, and it starts reverting, and your part is not on point. 
because then that could possibly create a bit of a mess and then you get frustrated and you're like throw the whole point to me. right like i did all right. of this mess <laughs> how's that looking very crooked <laughs> you know what let me go in the back so for this part yeah you're gonna need both hands mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You're gonna have to get a significant amount of gel. Yes. In both hands, and I will tell you why. All right. It's really good smooth in that ponytail. Okay, you go, girl. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the reason why you're gonna do um both <clears throat> hands is because mm -hmm. you're gonna have to smooth this in this particular shape. Does that make sense? So like this. Mm-hmm. But you're gonna start. In the middle. Start right. here. Yep. There you go. Woo! Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Don't forget the edges, honey. You know how we feel about our edges. Mm -hmm. Y'all The other side is you no. Know, if you have to get more, you know, feel free. Yep. I'm definitely. Mm -hmm. I see why people be having them big tubs of Eco Style. Because I was like, let me get this cute little container because I don't use gel that often. Right. But it's like this whole container going to go for one ponytail. <laughs> yep. Make sure you do the other side. Slick it down, slick it down. I want chips. You know what I want? I want the dill pickle chips. You know what I've been doing lately? Mm -hmm. They're so good. You know they got flaming hot dill chip, dill pickle chips too, right? Oh, okay. I can't hear you. La 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 la. All right. So now you're gonna get your bristle brush meaning the ones with the individual bristles okay wait let me close this gel before i drop it on the floor mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and start up. Yep. you can start on either side and you're going to be smoothing now make sure you don't forget that middle part you want to make sure it's going to be no drops especially in the middle there you go um take it easy then daniel son oh. <laughs> <laughs> do the other side too there you go. Mm -hmm. So now you're gonna get some more gel. Okay. Yep. You're gonna take a whole nother scoop. Damn. <laughs> uh huh. And then this time, instead of concentrating on the edges, make sure you concentrate on the hair that you just brushed in. Like here? Yup. From mid shaft, mid shaft to the ends of the ponytail. Okay. So we don't want you to revert too much. So you might wanna um press um. Uh, Back oh, go a little quick. I was like, what? And then you can go back and get your other brush. The board's hair. brush. Yeah, the board's hair. Yeah. I hope this is not confusing with going back and forth in between um the two brushes, but it's imperative to a nice, smooth ponytail, especially on a true 4C like yourself. Going back and forth between um, the comb and the two different type of brushes with the gel is the game changer. That's how you really get it smooth. Okay. All right. So after you finish brushing, you're going to quickly open up the ponytail without manipulating it. Don't. Just take it out and re-secure it. Okay. I think I'm going to switch um, ponytail holders because... That one's starting to get worn out. No, that one. Oh wait, no, this wasn't the one. This is okay. No, there was one of them that had like a little metal thing on it that was um pulling my hair. Snagging. Okay, that was that was good that you changed that out. Yep, and put that back in the ponytail holder. Ooh. Okay. Now you're gonna go get you some more gel. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Both hands. Both hands. Woo. Mm -hmm. So this time, this is good. Time, yep. So this time, you just put it all through the hair. Now you're gonna go around the edges with the ponytail, all around the edges on the top and underneath. Yup. There you go. Don't forget up here. Remember that middle. There it feel like I'm um perming my hair with gel. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar application. You got your baby comb. Yep. All right. That's well, my fake, my fake comb, cause. 
Okay, no, it's fine. So that's the reason why we smoothed it with the two different brushes because now it's time for you to go in with your comb and really get it laid. Okay, let me uh take some of this gel off my hands. Yup, see? So I can pick up so I can pick up the comb and I'll throw it across the room. Right. <laughs> Is this one good? Yep, that one's good. Okay. Alright, and then we're gonna Mm -hmm. So then you're gonna comb and smooth as you go down. Make sure you, yeah, see? See, that's the difference. A lot of people are like, why are you using those two brushes? It may seem a little bit confusing, but then when the comb is really what smooths it. Yeah. So, but because you detangled it with your Y2 comb and your moisturizer, mm -hmm. and then you distributed the gel evenly with the two different brushes, now the comb is, the baby comb is gonna glide through. Ooh. Yeah. Because the whole point of doing like a ponytail or a protective style is to protect the hair, not to rip it out. Right. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why I do the two different brushes because it really makes a difference. Is it easy to comb? Yeah. Easy to comb, right? Yep. All right. And do I do the chicky packs too? You can do the chicky packs too. You might need a little bit more gel because you're combing it in a different direction. The gel go back here? Yes. And the, and the navy, yep. This is the part that usually starts to bother me the most. <laughs> yeah, of course, because A, you're tender headed, and B, you're tender headed. <laughs> I'm just sore. I'm sensitive. I'm a little baby. <laughs> okay, so go back to your bristle brush and smooth it down. You know, all going in the direction of the ponytail. Mm -hmm. Don't forget them thigh burns. Yes, honey. These sideburns okay. be having a mind of their own, child. Well, you know what? Sometimes that happens to me also, especially because I'm gray at around the edges and that hair just does what it wants to do. So I, sometimes I have to go back and add just a tad more gel. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get the middle V too. Yeah, that is laying. I am so proud of you. <laughs> you my go man, baby. Yes. I taught you well. You done taught me well. Well, we'll see when we get to the ponytail part. No, I'm telling you, that's the easiest part. Okay. Oh, Hopefully you have enough pins and stuff. You don't even need them. Oh, you good. Literally, you need to. Oh, I can find two. You part, right? Yeah. You, you know, you part is my favorite ponytail. Okay. Yes. And it's super easy to take on and off. And it, it makes such a nice, full, juicy ponytail. Juicy ponytail! Yeah, I think, every, I think everybody can do a U-part wig ponytail. That's how easy it is. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to dip both of your hands. Just literally like if it was um, a manicure, like you get your manicure done. You dip both fingers like this in the gel. And then just smooth it with your hands. Okay. I couldn't fit both hands in that little bottle of gel, so I had to get creative. <laughs> I had to get creative. Like that? <laughs> yep. Okay. And so just this much. That. Yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the this piece back here. Yeah. Yep. Does it feel smooth to you? It, I feel like I got a little hump here. Do I need to take the ponytail out again? Oh, uh, you're going to, but not yet. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So if you're feeling a little hump there, just go back in with your comb and then comb it towards the ponytail. The regular comb? Um, the baby. Okay. Yeah, I see the little hump you talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the sound that this is making. I'm laughing because the teeth go all the way through. A brush is just gonna um, do the surface. It's kind of like when you brush your teeth and when you floss your teeth. When you floss your teeth, you didn't even realize this that that was in there. Right. So same thing with the comb. It's like the comb can smooth it where a brush really can, because it goes all the way through. Okay. Cat, even Cat Williams is watching. Like, wow, I ain't never seen you do your hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're feeling that smooth and you got the, the little bump out, go ahead and take the ponytail holder out. Do you have two? You want me to put two in here? Yeah, no. Okay. Because now you're securing it. You're not going to take it back out after this. Okay. So you can add the second ponytail holder to it. If you want, not everybody has to do that. Wow, it feels like, all of this feels like I got a perm. Are you ready for your U-part, boo? <laughs> You did pretty dad going good. Y'all you, see my waves? They spinning. They spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's your face. Friend. That's that's my friend though. I don't I don't care. You did good. <laughs> yeah. All right.
Okay, so this is the Big Chop Hair Kinky Curl U-Part. I want to say this is maybe, what, 20 inches? It, it might be 24 inches once you stretch it out. I don't really recall, but you know, you can get your uh, measuring tapes and figure stuff out. But when you do, when they measure the Kinky Curl or any curly U-Part or weft or wig, they're measuring it when it's stretched. But of course, you know, it's gonna look shorter because you know how natural hair does. Anyway, so we're gonna spritz this a little bit, right? Or leave it just so? Uh, no, spritz it a little bit. Especially on top. It looks pretty good, but. Yeah, I just did something to film because um, I was showing how I revived my U parts in my wigs with these um, this waterless collection from Pantene. So I yeah. could revive the wig in between washes. Mm. It was really nice, too. Okay, water bottle. All right, you know whose water bottle that is. Oh, I know, I recognize the sticker. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the water bottle. Yes. Okay, I'm Yes. That is a continuous spray water bottle. Gabby used to sell them. Maybe one day she'll sell them again. I know, I only got all the inventory in my house. That's okay, I'm gonna get my life together, y'all. Yeah. All right, good? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. So, are the clips on the inside open or closed? Um, I opened them. You mm -hmm. want me to close them? You're gonna close every single one except the one in the middle. Okay, so except for this one right here. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna close. And I'll show you, and I will tell you why. And close, because I mm -hmm. could see the hair getting stuck in there and messing <laughs> up my, <laughs> my slick dome. That's one reason. <laughs> and especially you with um, you being a tender-headed baby. And your bra straps are um, connected in the middle? Yep. All right. So that middle um, clip, mm -hmm. you're going to use that as an anchor. Okay. Center the ponytail in the back. Okay. I don't know how y'all going to be able to see this at home. I will try my best. You just secure it literally to the surface. Like, you know, almost like your, the first layer of your skin. Oh, there we go. Tie. Got it. There you go. Okay. Probably had too much hair stuck in there. Okay. And either the left side or the right side of the U part, you're gonna tuck it all the way under, almost over directing you. Like here. Yup. Okay. okay. Then you're gonna open up that clip and stick it in your hair. Okay. And close it. Oh, okay. Ah, now see the other side. You still have that open. Yep. You're well, gonna crisscross. That underneath the part that you just secured. Okay, and then close it. Stick it in your hair and close it. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to get your bobby pins. Okay. You could get four of them. You might not use four, but let's do four just to be on the safe side. Oh, let me see if I can find four. You know, you be having mad bobby pins and then out of nowhere, you ain't got no bobby pins. Yeah, they all go to bobby pin heaven. <laughs> you be like, um, didn't I just have 99 bobby pins? So you're going to stick four bobby pins in there just to be on the safe side. Okay. What you're doing is go into the living room and you leave your ponytail. Yeah, in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but the way we did this, I feel like I'd be able to take this out at night and sleep and then put yeah. it on in the morning. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, with the bobby pins also. So look, you're going to, you know, the two sides that you just secured? Uh, you're going to put two bobby pins on each side. Make sure you go through the U part wig. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Let me see if I can get and it. And make sure that you're pinning it to your hair as well as going through, through the U part. part. Okay, got yep. that. Gonna do one on each side. Yes, yeah, sister girl. Mm -hmm. this, some people don't need the bobby pin, just like you said, but I'd rather be safe, safe than sorry. So I think Gabby's phone might have run out of battery. So I'm just gonna continue. I think she might have wanted me to put bobby pin up here as well. Open. That feels about right. Hopefully you guys can see. Here we go. Sorry. I was like, oh my god, my phone. I had to run. That looks so damn cute. What I did notice was this side looked a little humpy, so I kind of just, you know, 
smoothed it down. Okay, good. Yeah. Maybe if I put a scarf on it, but them scarves be hurting yeah. my head. But while you was calling me back, I was actually unpacking. I got curtains for my bedroom. Yes. I know. But I was like, I don't know if this is long enough for my head. <laughs> of course it is. But you gotta put the gel on it first, remember? For more gel? Yeah, just like around the edges. We'll talk about the edges because some gals like a, a baby hair. You okay, know? yeah, show me how to do the baby hair because. Because when you turn to the side, I notice that right here is still not smooth. Right here? Like, yeah, right there. Yeah. Right there? To the side, I was like, yeah. Yeah, you gotta put a little bit more gel, smooth it. You know, if you're a baby hair, are you filming this? Yeah. Okay, you gotta put a little bit more gel right there. Like, once mm -hmm. the ponytail more than is this? complete, um, I mean, it's up to you. Okay. I, I can't feel it, so I'm just going, you know. By what you're showing me, yeah, okay. that seems like it's good though. You know, if you want a little baby hair, you want to do a little swirl, a little twirl. Yeah, I want a little swirl, and twirl. But I be feeling like I got adult hairs up here. You got a what? Adult hairs. <laughs> but just even though, even if you're not a baby hair girl, you can just go down and just kind of lay it down, make it smooth, like that. Put your put your put your thing on it. You know what I mean? I don't know how to do it. You know what's funny? I used to do it all the time as a teenager. You know, especially right here, because you know, I, I, I grew up with these sideburns. <laughs> I used to do it here. But now I'm like, how did I do it before? I don't know. Some people use their fingers. Other people use a comb. Some people use a little tiny um, edge brush. It's up to you. I don't know where my edge brush is, so. Okay, <laughs> then this is, what, this is what we working with. Am I slicking it? <laughs> slicking it. Looking at dog. I don't mind like a lot of baby hair. I like that like ripple effect. I like the ripple effect too. Well, you definitely were gonna get that because we didn't blow dry it. Yeah. So. And you know what's funny? Remember the first time I got a ponytail? I didn't realize that. I was like, can you give me waves? <laughs> and you looked at me like, look, go like this. So that the heat part is lifted. There you go. Go like this. There you go. See, you know what? Cause I gotta be doing stuff and then making sure the camera can see. Yep, mm-hmm. Do like that so it doesn't get stuck. There you go. See, you smart. You is smart. You is kind. I want to thank Gabrielle Corny so much for helping me <laughs> get my ponytail together. You can follow her at Gabrielle Corny on Instagram. I will put her information there. When we are finally able to go back outside, I highly suggest if you are going to be in the New York area that you try to book an appointment with her. And I say try because I know as soon as the, 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 the quarantine lifts, her schedule is going to be flooded. So you need to make sure you are on it. Follow her, sign up for her post notifications so you know when she posts. And, and, and do the same for me too because you know I'm on the grid. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box. And I will see you fine folks in my next one. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>